Hey everybody, happy Thanksgiving. Hope you're doing great today. Looking forward to the holiday in just a couple days. And you know, it's got me thinking about Thanksgiving. Like, like what really is Thanksgiving? And, and here's what I heard recently from another pastor friend of mine. Um, we have made Thanksgiving into a noun when it really is supposed to be a verb. And so think about that. I mean, Thanksgiving should be something that's active, something that we often do. But instead, we've kind of made it a day on the calendar that we celebrate and maybe we're thoughtful a little bit about things that we're thankful for on that day. But then we are maybe not so thankful the rest of the time. You know, um, Paul's words to the church in Colossians uh, has great wisdom and insight for us. And it goes right along with this thought that Thanksgiving really is a verb. It says in Colossians 3, 15 through 17, And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your heart to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Did you catch that? Paul is saying, hey, we need to have this attitude and be thankful. We need to do this and be thankful. We need to uh, operate in this spirit and be thankful. It's like Paul is saying, hey, everything in your life needs to be woven with the thread of thankfulness. Thankfulness real here biblically really is a verb. It's something that we are to live and to do continually, not just one time a year. I challenge you with that thought. And as Thanksgiving, the noun Thanksgiving comes up on the calendar in just a couple days, I challenge you to take up a, a real spirit of Thanksgiving and make it a verb. Beyond that, I want to share with you just a few quick things that are happening here at RCA Church uh, the rest of this week. First of all, tomorrow night there will be no refuel midweek service at 7 p.m. Take the time uh, with your family to prepare the meal, to just relax, but we will not be meeting because of the holiday. We look forward to seeing you back next Wednesday night for that service. Also, if you're looking for something great to do this Friday, I know it's Black Friday and maybe when you get all your shopping done online or maybe if you risk it and go to a few stores, uh, we have something very special here at 10 a.m. on Friday morning. Kevin Fuller and the outreach team are uh, going to be decorating two trees and both of these trees are outreach oriented. One will be in our lobby. Uh, that will be a tree where we collect gifts and donations for Nazareth Children's Home to bless those um, guys that are there with gifts and things that they need for Christmas. And the other will be down at Granite Lake Park just down the road. And uh, that will just be a, a, a Christmas blessing to our community, uh, wishing our community well from RCA Church. So if you like to decorate, we're looking for a small team to come together. Probably won't take but about an hour or so on Friday morning at 10 a.m. Come help us decorate and make a difference. Third and finally, this coming Sunday, man, you, you've got to be here, at least online or in person. Please plan to be here. Sal Bianca and the Sand Hill Teens Challenge crew are going to be here. We always have a wonderful, powerful service with them. The, the testimonies these guys share, their love, their passion is inspiring, and we want you to be touched and encouraged and blessed by it. So plan now. Be at one of our services, 930 or 11 a.m. this Sunday to have an awesome time with Sand Hill Steam Challenge. But beyond that, guys, we love you. Have a great holiday weekend, and we'll see you soon.